Hey, this is Zetro from Exodus, and you are watching Impact Channel. Exodus. Welcome back to Hungary. Good to be back. Hungary. How are you? How is it so far? Good. Good. We're having fun. Slaughter across uh, Europe 2018. Exodus Onslaught. Basically hitting a lot of the festivals that are going on in Europe and then like, you know, like tonight filling in uh, shows with headlining shows. Um, your last album, Blood In Blood Out, was released in 2014. Are you yes. working on the new material now? Well, I think what we're basically doing is we're going to wait till Gary's done with his commitment. That is the final commitment. So I, I don't think we, he doesn't want to rush it either, do we? And so this, since there is a, you know, there is an end in, in, in sight at some point, we will uh, we'll go with that. I'd probably say, to be honest, 2019 late, you know, just to be honest. So we're aware of it. We're aware that it's come out in 2014. But, you know, Gary's the main part of Exodus, and there's no way we can do it without it. And with scheduling with Slayer and their tour and Exodus, it just doesn't look like there'll be time until that tour is completely finished, whenever that is. So we don't know. I don't think he does, and they've had, they haven't announced the last bit of it. So it'll be. Uh, um, we'll just wait and see. See what happens. Okay. Do you have any candidate for the producer position? Probably Andy Sneed. Mm. He's done everything else in Temple of the Dam. Why wouldn't he do it now? So, yeah, be a little be Andy. The band was formed in 1979. Do you have any plans for the special anniversary next year? I think that we're going to do something in San Francisco next year. We're going to do a residency there. Back at home for four years. We're talking about it right now. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe three or four nights at a certain place. We played there last year. Two nights called the Chapel. Probably bring old members up, that sort of thing, you know, see what happens. And it's, it's in the talks, though we're definitely in the works right now with it. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the greatest moment when you realized the impact you have made on the metal scene? What was the biggest appreciation you got from a fan, for example? As long as fans, and they still say it today that, you know, they were we were such a big influence on what they did musically, or we, uh, our songs brought them through a time in their life where they had tough times and all they had was the music. So that's 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 all the appreciation that I need. That's going to be my next question actually about you know how spiritually uh, helps people this kind of music. It does, it does, it definitely does. You see it in people's faces that they're so when you meet them they're so happy to uh, be a part of you know you of you and your music and your music means so much to them. So that's all the satisfaction that I need. What about you? What inspires you? What uh, gets you extra power? I think uh, and life in general, you know, and all the pratfalls and all the darkness that comes with it, you know. And who was the craziest fan you ever met? Craziest fan? Oh man, there's been, it's, it's been 33 years of this mayhem. Uh, craziest fan was Toby Rage. He used to walk on the crowd. Mm -hmm. He was a guy back in San Francisco and he didn't just crowd surf. He could like step and walk. It was amazing how he did it. So it was pretty good. He's no longer with us, All right. but uh, he was crazy. That's probably why he's no longer with us. Let's see. And do you have any funny tour story to share with us? Well, on this tour, I don't know if you know, we hit a moose on Nor in Norway. Mm -hmm. Our tour bus hit and killed a moose. Yeah, it ran out into the street. While we were on the you know the highway going, and it happened to run mm -hmm. at the same time we were going, and smashed the whole front of the bus. Shit. Yeah, killed the moose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was anybody injured? No, no. The moose. the moose ripped his horn right off his head. Mm -hmm. They sent a hunter through the woods who found him and put him, you know, took care of him because I don't think he was necessarily dead yet, but he didn't make it. No. What did music do to you? How did it shape your personality? I think music is my personality and mm. everything about my personality forever. For people that you see now, that I see when I go home and have, have seen me in 
when I was a kid, you know, they all know, they all admit that, wow, we always knew this was going to be for you. And what do you think about the evolution of thrash metal music, if you compare the 80s and 90s and the current thrash metal scene? Everything has to evolve. For it to survive, it has to evolve, or it won't make it, you know, or it won't live. So, there's good bands, there's a lot of good new bands. My son's playing a band called Adrian, uh, Havoc, Municipal Waste, there's, there's bands that are still power chip, that are still carrying the torch, so. What do you think about these neo fresh metal bands like Deus Scented and some other more modern fresh metal I do like them. I like Deus Scented. I think they're a good mm -hmm. band. They, they are considered some of the newer thrash bands, but uh, definitely influenced by Exodus and, and Slayer and Metallica and that sort of thing. So, you know, very, uh, it's, it's, it stays relevant. You know, I think it's a music that's, it's a form of metal that's very real and true to their fans. The lyrics are socially and religiously always right on the on the steps, so I think that's why people like it. Mm -hmm. There's no bullshit in it, you know. And do you have any plans to go on tour with your kids? Uh, well, we'll see. We did come over here at the end of 2013 and did like eight shows mm -hmm. around Europe, but um, unless they open for Exodus, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> and what were the values that you wanted to pass to your children? Uh, be a productive member of society, you know, just be, in whatever you do, always be a productive member, you know. Don't be somebody who leans on the, the system, you know, and, and tries to work the system. Take care of yourself. Be able to take care of yourself. Uh, you just mentioned Gary Holt and Slayer. Uh, what do you think about this whole phenomenon that's going on right now? Because many musicians uh, retired or actually died in the last few years, how would this uh, affect the metal scene? It's too bad. I, I think because when we, when heavy metal was young, we were all kind of young, so we didn't have to experience that at that point in time. But now, as even rock and rollers are starting to die, anywhere from David Bowie to Glenn Fry to Prince to Michael Jackson, it's going to start happening to heavy metal people as well. We lost Lemmy. Uh, uh, you know, people are retiring. We lost Malcolm Young. Uh, 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 Cliff quit, Brian Johnson quit, they're older now, so, uh, you know, if you don't want to do it anymore and you can't do it anymore, I, I think it's a, it's a good idea to get out, but that's part of it. But we're not going anywhere, we're still here. We can fall past the way not so long time ago, do you have any memories of him? Well, yeah, Pantera opened for Exodus, their very first tour ever, so we took them out, I had a lot of memories about Kenny. The last one we seen him in February, uh, we were on tour in the United States with Municipal Waste for a cartoon called Mr. Pickles. And we were in Vegas and he was on our bus hanging out with us. This was just this past February. Such a sad thing. It's very sad. And he was crazy. Lived his life to his fullest. Him and his brother did. It's just too bad. It's too bad. Uh, what were you like as a kid? Uh, I was a lot of fun. I liked cartoons. I liked toys. I liked sports. I was a lot of fun as a kid. You went football? Oh yeah, American football, of course. Mm -hmm. What was the first band that got you into rock music or metal music? Uh, Led Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the first album you bought? Stairway to Heaven, uh, for Zeppelin IV. Mm -hmm. First show as a fan? Kiss, Day All This Died, 1977. Mm -hmm. And the first show as a musician? First show as a musician uh, was at um, a place called The Brick House in Hayward, California, and I was in a band with Phil Devil from Machine Head. So we were in a band, it was our very first show. Oh yeah, Phil Devil is also in the uh, Dublin Death Patrol. Yes. What's the story with the band? What's new with the band? Just something we did as friends to put together, there'll be nothing else from it. Mm -hmm. Any other plans for a side project? No, I'm just concentrating on Exodus. Politics. Uh, there was a huge hysteria when Donald Trump was elected a few years ago, two years ago, right? Yes. How do you see the situation in the United States? The economy in the United States, the economy, mm -hmm. unemployment is the lowest it's ever been mm -hmm. in the history of the United States. I think him <coughs> making the attempt to go to uh, uh, meet the, meet Kim Jong Un, I think that that's great. That's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. People need to touch together, not not do it through channels. Um, 
today's the 4th of July, it's, it's, it's American Independence oh, yeah, Day today. Right. It's a big day for Americans, you know, even though we're here, we're all still very aware today is the 4th of July. So I love the country I live in, I support it, I support the president. Okay. And if you're in charge, you know, in any kind of position, what would you change in the United States of America? What would you try to improve? What would I try to improve? <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I think that's a big task. And I, I mean, there's so many different things. Um, I, I guess homelessness. Homeless, if I could change that, I wish nobody went hungry or nobody went without a home. And if you could eliminate one thing from mankind, what would it be? Jealousy. What are your plans after the tour? Re enjoy California summer, <laughs> the rest of it. <laughs> uh, we're we're going to hang out for a little while. I think we're probably going to spend some time apart from each other for a couple of months anyway. I know we have some things to do in September, I think, in the United States. Some things to do later this year. <laughs> But uh, uh, just do what we do, rock and roll, man. Probably write some songs, probably find out what's up with Gary and see what's, you know, I'm sure Tom will get together with Gary. If you could pick the bands for an Exodus tribute album, who would you like to hear to cover your songs? I would love to have Rainbow do a uh, sound great. Anyone else? Maybe outside metal music? Uh, that would do. I would like to see, like, I don't know, maybe Willie Nelson do a, a country version of Blonde of My Blood. That would be kind of cool. Um, is this your five favorite albums of all time? It's hard to do. There's so many. Um, the Ace of Spades, probably. Don't Break the Oath, Merciful Fate. Um, Iron Maiden Killers, Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath, and um, because my favorite songs on it, Longwood Rock and Roll by Rainbow. But I mean, that's I I, I love ACDC, I love Led Zeppelin. There's a lot of bands I can, you know, I'd have to go 50, but it's you know, those are good. That's a good five roundabout. Don't know. We'll figure it out. Have a good time all the time, right? <laughs> Any last words to your fans? See you guys soon. We ain't going anywhere. I know other bands are hanging it up or you know calling it quits, but uh, Exodus will be around. As long as you guys are here, we'll be here. Stay happy. See you in the pit. Thank you very much for the interview.